A lot of you, especially football fans, might have seen this photo floating around the internet. Uh, if you don't know, this is Bradley. He was a six-year-old who unfortunately passed away in 2017 due to cancer. Now, these two these two are taking, obviously, the mick here, showing it at uh, Sunderland fans, which are a football team in the UK, mocking him. He died many years ago, unfortunately, due to cancer, and they seem to be having a whale of a time. Truly a disturbing and a disgusting sight. It's, it's horrible, something no one ever wanted to see. Bradley, like I said, was a only six years old he was seen with Jermaine Defoe many professional footballers were all supporting of him here yeah, unfortunately he did die when he was six of cancer a lot of money has been raised in his memory for the Bradley Lowry Foundation which helps kids and supports cancer victims so for these two knuckleheads to mock and laugh at the death of a six-year-old child no matter what is disgusting and a disgrace and something that doesn't belong in our society. I understand I've been to football games, things happen in stadiums that don't happen outside. These two will probably never have done this outside of a football stadium. However, it does not change the fact that what they've done is disgraceful and just absolutely outrageous. It truly boils my blood while, you know, I read this and get really sad. It reminds me of this poor kid who, you know, had to go through all of this. However, I bring you some slightly better news. A man has been charged after reports of the image were obviously put online. She Wednesday came out and said it was outrageous, a disgrace. The, the person's name is Dale Hewton, 31 from Rotherham. He's been charged with a public order offence which can actually lead to prison time. South Yorkshire said that he had been in custody and are waiting a hearing on Monday. Now, this is obviously distressing. You know, the poor family, friends, all who are have any connection to him, probably even, you know, Jermaine Defoe himself, all have had to relive this horrible memory of poor Bradley Lowry uh, due to these to thinking it's funny to taunt the opposition with a picture of him. Now, obviously, justice has been done. They've been found. They've been caught. But what, what's the next step? What is the right form of punishment now? Personally, what I think they've done is outrageous. It's disgusting. But like I said before, things happen in football stadiums that don't happen outside. If you've ever been to a sports match, you know things are crazy. You, you lose your sense of thinking. You lose your sense of belonging. The, the energy, the atmosphere gets to your brain. And you do things. You say things you probably don't mean. And you wouldn't say. However, that does not change the fact what they did was outrageous now prison time look for a 10 second mess up of someone's life did they deserve prison i would say no and the reason is i think these two people aren't a menace these two aren't harming or damaging society in any way they got a little bit of a head in themselves and that obviously led to problems within uh, but look i'm sure that the other side the other fans were giving it as well i'm sure they said some stuff that they wouldn't say outside of a, a, a stadium so they won three nil as well so you know things were probably going to be high energy the atmosphere everything was going to be a little bit crazy so they've been caught they've been punished what should be the the definitive answer jail i think is a little bit far but they should be fined they should also be forced to donate a hefty amount of money to the charity as well i do truly believe that is the best thing that can happen for both sides so a fine and donate to charity and i think they should be banned from football games for the certain future anyway how long you know five years is that long enough again this is a 10 second bit of adrenaline that's got to the heads and they've done something that I'm sure they regret heavily and wish they didn't. This poor kid lost his life to cancer. It's a horrible thing and people don't need to relive it. Football is about passion and enjoying it and escapism from reality. They don't need reminding family, friends, supporters of this sad, sad story of poor little Bradley who unfortunately died at such a young age due to cancer. It's a disgrace. Do they deserve prison? I'm not too sure. I think that would be an extreme, extreme sentencing but I certainly believe there should be a firm punishment. Things like this should not exist in football. It shouldn't exist in sport we're all when you know there's opposition fans call them you know the f word call them the c word stick up the middle finger that's part of the fun do not bring little kids and other problems and disturbing past memories into this this is nothing to do with bradley this is about you losing and not enjoying your time there so you're they're probably in your face saying oh you're shit you're rubbish and they're trying to get one up on them this is not what it's about and you do not get one up on them by using a tragic death or tragic event to do that let me know what you guys thought down below what should be the punishment severe jail is that what you think i'm 50 50 i think that's quite an extreme but it would send the right message out saying that this is not accepted in sport and i can guarantee nothing like this would happen again for certain no one would want to be arrested and no one would obviously want the outcome that is going to happen in the coming days perhaps this is about sending a message saying that this is not allowed and do not do this otherwise you will be you will have severe consequences these consequences can lead to x y and z whatever that might be i think a fine football ban and a donation a, a very big donation as well to his cancer trust should be in order let me know guys cheers